Vansot employs over 2,000 people around the world and offers more than 130 different services. The laboratory in Vilvord accounts for 20 or so of these services. Around 60 people work there, 60% technically qualified employees and the remaining 40% engineers. These employees carry out research and perform tests in electrical and mechanical fields. The application field of the tests is wide and the techniques can be applied in a broad context. Did you know that pressure tests can be undertaken at 800 times the normal atmospheric pressure and tensile strength tests up to 80 tons? Follow this guy through the Vincent laboratories. Insurance companies, private individuals or companies get in touch with us when they want to discover the causes of, for instance, a rupture in a car part such as the suspension, brake disc or drive belt, part of a gearbox, chains and cables. Some time ago, an insurance company got in touch with Vansot as an independent third party to ask if we could discover the cause of a fire in an electrical appliance. It was crucial to find out what had gone wrong, as the fire caused a lot of damage in a home, pushing up the costs, and it was then up to the insurance company to find out who was responsible. Investigating a cause often involves creating a new method or combining some of the processes that are already available. It's for that reason that the experience and knowledge of our researchers is so very important. Various objects and parts are tested and handled in the material testing department. On request from our customers, various types of materials are tested to verify compliance with a specific standard or specification. In the workshop, the materials are prepared for different tests. For this preparation, we have at our disposal different machines, including mill cutting and turning machines. The preparatory stage is important because often materials have to be converted into test pieces with standardized dimensions. As soon as the test piece is ready, we can set to work on it. Different tests can be carried out on these pieces to check their characteristics. The most common ones are the tensile strength test. In this case, the pieces undergo a tensile test to determine the elastic limit, the tensile strength and the extension of the material. The tensile strengthening machines are suitable for tests up to 80 tonnes. We work together with other independent bodies for tests involving up to 180 tonnes and more. Another common test is the impact test, used to see if a material is tough or brittle. This test determines how much energy a test piece can absorb before it breaks. The more energy that can be absorbed, the tougher the test piece is. A material's quality may deteriorate because of age, wear or external factors such as the temperature. These factors affecting the material can also be simulated in the laboratories. Test sample wells have to be flawless, otherwise defects such as inclusions or ruptures may be the cause of unforeseen wear and tear. When a welded joint is bent, any minuscule welding defect soon produces a surface rupture. Our laboratory has lots of other options for investigating materials in greater detail. Materials can be investigated with a standard or electron microscope. This provides magnification up to 30,000 times so that each grain of a material is visible. Impairments such as creep degradations can therefore be monitored and predicted so as to prevent any accidents. In order to determine the hardness or resistance to wear, an examination is made of the test sample's resistance to the penetration of another harder object. The findings also give an idea of the tensile strength of standard steel grades. A completely different technique involves the chemical analysis of a material. Our foundry master system can distinguish different chemical elements and determine their metal content. That's not all. Electrical equipment entering the EU has to meet a number of safety requirements set out in the Product Safety Directive. Belgium's Federal Public Service for the Economy often enlists the aid of our electricity department. The staff carry out tests and examinations on products. 
verifying if they operate in compliance with the relevant rules, such as the Low Voltage, EMC and ROHS directives, and if they're safe for the European market. Checking whether current carrying components can be touched is a standard examination when testing electrical equipment. For example, can users touch the heating component of a hairdryer? How child-friendly are sockets? Do they still operate after being used 5,000 times? Checking whether an over-voltage can result in insulation problems in an electrical circuit. And the curling iron or styling iron. Is the wire damaged if you turn it back and forwards too much? This is tested by producing 10,000 reciprocating motions under load. After this test, the findings are analysed. Checking if the material used for sockets is self-extinguishing after being brought into contact with a 750 degrees Celsius filament. Also, the concentration of hazardous substances can be determined. The basis for the analysis is the ROHS directive. The years of experience we've built up as a result of our involvement in various fields has been put into practice by moving on to the certification of products, particularly in areas where the hazards are considerable or where there's a demand from the user. In this framework, we've already certified various products and awarded them our mark, the VGS mark. VGS gives the product a safety guarantee. It means that products which carry the logo comply with European standards and any additional criteria established by our services. The mark applies to, for instance, chains, hooks, synthetic hoisting slings, scaffolding and ladders, but also household rubbish bags for which specific standards are set, and electrical equipment such as sockets and table sockets. Producers, suppliers or importers sometimes turn to Vansot to test a product for which there are still no directives or standards. A team of specialists then closely assesses the assignment and proposes a suitable programme on the basis of what available knowledge there is of similar products and experience. A few of our recent programmes are the testing of pocket bikes, an investigation at the request of a manufacturer into the fire resistance of plastic fuel tanks for cars, diving cylinder pressure tests, identification of bioplastics on the basis of infrared analysis and other analyses. This is only a random selection of our services. We focus in particular on areas where we can share our knowledge and experience. The application of the different techniques can be substantially extended. It's generally demand from a customer that prompts us to extend our limits, to build upon prior knowledge and to seek the answers to questions that may never have been asked before.